Hi there. I'd like to help you identify exactly what's in your tube of oil colour and shed light on the choice of pigments. The labelling on Winsor & Newton tubes has information on the pigment or pigments used in the colours formulation. Here's French Ultramarine, which is labelled as containing PB29, an abbreviation of Pigment Blue 29. This number is not specific to a particular hue of ultramarine blue. As you can see, ultramarine blue, green shade, is also referenced as pigment blue 29. So it's a standard reference which actually encompasses all ultramarine blues by all manufacturers. Here we've added titanium white to illustrate the difference in hue bias. But this reference is really useful in showing me that the colour is comprised of a single pigment. This is the preferred choice of many artists, myself included. And with careful choices of pure single pigment colours, it's possible to create a vast array of mixes with fewer clashing overtones. However, there are many reasons for a colour to include more than one pigment. Maybe a pigment is no longer available, or highly toxic. Here's some Naples Yellow Light, an historic colour, associated with painting flesh. The original Naples Yellow is made from antimony, which is highly toxic and sensitive in mixtures with certain pigments. It's also very expensive. This manganese blue hue is formulated to replicate the original manganese pigment, which is no longer produced. Sometimes a single pigment lacks the required balance of hue bias, which is why the decision to formulate from two pigments is made. This cadmium orange is carefully formulated from two pigments to achieve the perfect balance between red and yellow bias. Sometimes formulations address gaps in available single pigment offerings. The range of green source pigments available is fairly limited, and so careful formulations offer a wider number of permanent greens. I hope this information helps you make informed choices.